So, Mr. Uh, Steve Nolan, what have you discovered on this very, very majestic open sea? Well, here at the BGSU Preserve, I've noticed there's about a population of 15,000 of the species I'd like to call the Somniatic Studiensis. This species is very interesting as they do not seem to sleep at night, but they do not sleep during the day. It's very, it differs to each population that we find on this preserve here. That's very strange. And the population is, seems to be more of a female base. There's more of like the female spawn of the species on this preserve more than the males. And they don't really seem to share this population with other organisms. There doesn't seem to be much diversity of species. It's just the cold, simple species that I have mentioned. So, Mr. Nolan, what for these new uh, species that you found, what is the typical eating habits of these? Well, that's actually one of the most interesting points about these species I want to make. They, um, they don't eat normal food. They don't eat proteins. They don't eat starches. It's just pure carbs and alcoholic chemicals. 24-7. Usually they're so inebriated they don't even seem to remember who they are and they often get in these weird standoff fights between others and they get in these kind of competitional mates. You know like elephant seals, how they will fight for dominance for the females? It's kind of like that for every single night and it always varies. My god, that sounds intimidating right there. What would you say their uh, reproductive habits are? You know pheromones? Creatures with these pheromones, when they have populations, like they can introduce each other to other mates within 10 to 15 miles, such as geese, uh, caribou, uh, and many other species. What's interesting about them is their range goes up to 100 miles, and they use a special kind of chemical they release over the air, and it travels, I guess, on the winds. I, I'm not really sure yet, we're still researching on this, but it's called tinder. And it's very iffy. It seems that sometimes it works out, and sometimes they're happy, other times they'll meet up, and then they just, one of them gets absolutely repulsed by the other and just retreats. So, what will you be doing for us today? Well, actually, I'm going to catch it. I'm going to do an old hog tie fashion style to get it. Actually, I think two juvenile males. Now, these right here are undergraduates, the young. Tinder, we should be Tinder, 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 And you can hear them actually making a call right now. He's not very happy. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. But if you look at its eyes, as you can see, its eyes are very sunken in. And that's a classic sign of its nocturnal, but yet not diurnal behavior. Sorority girls. And you can tell that it's actually getting very agitated. So we're going to get him out here soon. He'll probably break the brine. Let's go. Alright, we're going to let him go now. Well, it looks like they're connected through Tinder. If you could see how they were helping each other out in that situation while they were escaping. Well, today I just want to show everybody what a class specimen of the Somniatic class is. So it was great showing you today. Oh, well, thank you. So this has been an extremely informative. Thank you. Enjoy it? Yes, it was very fun.